What's going on guys, Irish Wealth here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about how I managed to save 35,000 euro in just under two years. So before we get into that, I'd really appreciate it if you're new around here to hit that subscribe button. It's that beautiful red button here at the top of my channel as it really helps the channel out, helps the channel grow and gets my content out to more and more Irish people to make it more kind of acceptable to talk about personal finance, saving and investing, particularly in Ireland. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. The first thing I did was track my spending for one month. This was a month that there was no crazy one-off purchases and was an accurate representation of what I would typically spend in one month. Now that I knew what I spent in a month, I could set short, medium and long-term saving goals. Now that I had real tangible goals set, I could create a budget and design it to be able to reach those goals. The budget was just a simple Excel spreadsheet that kept me accountable and showed me how to spend my money if I wanted to achieve my goals. So three of the main components of a good budget, I think, are sustainability. So there's no point in making this insane budget that, you know, you burn out after one month because you can't possibly stick to it. So you need to create a budget that you're willing to stick to for many, many months, even years, if it means hitting your goals. The next point is it needs to be realistic. You know how much money give or take a few hundred quid what you're working with for the month. So there's no point in trying to say, oh, I'm going to save 90% of my income. Well, that's just unattainable for most people. So find a savings rate that you're happy with and stick to it. And the last point I want to mention is flexibility. Now, when I talk about flexibility, I don't mean that you can just completely ignore your budget every now and again. What I mean by this is in your certain categories that you've outlined in your budget, let's say you've spent a little bit less on fuel uh, in a month, you may be able to transition a bit more of that money over to your food budget, things like that. So certain areas of your budget, you might overspend on certain months, but you can underspend in other areas to balance itself out. Now the final and arguably most difficult part of this is just putting your head down and sticking to it. If you set your short-term goals up correctly then you should be getting constant feedback that you're hitting your targets and finally you will feel like you are actually winning with money. These are some of my first ever short-term budgeting goals. So one was to get my weekly shopping under 50 euro as I found that I was way overspending on food. Uh, the next was to save my first 300 euro and then the last one was to invest my first ever 100 euro. So these might sound like really easy kind of pointless silly goals but if you actually write them down and check them off one by one you can really feel like you're actually achieving something and going somewhere with your finances. And I'll wrap up the video by saying this, it's a lot easier just to save an extra 100 by cutting back in your budget than to make an extra 100. Because think about it, for the large majority of people, earning an extra 100 euro a month means, you know, doing an extra maybe day's work or extra hours or some overtime. Whereas you could actually just save an extra 100 euro if you cut back on some discretionary spending. You know, we all work far too hard for our money. So we might as well just try and control as much of it and keep as much of it as we can. So let me know down in the comments if you have any other kind of budgeting tips or tricks. But with that being said, guys, thanks a million for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.